Thanks very much. And um, I do want to thank the GTFCC Secretariat for inviting me to say a few words. Um, first of all, I'd like to thank them for the effort they've put into organizing this opportunity. It's obviously been very challenging. And I think it was really important that we did have this opportunity to talk and uh, discuss progress today. Um, obviously, Foundation Marriott and IFRC colleagues also thank you for the efforts you've put in. I do think that as we end today and, and look towards tomorrow, we should be excited by some of the updates that we've heard from the working groups and from the country representatives. I do think we've made important progress in the face of really incredible challenges. And many of the countries responding to the threat of cholera are those that not only face COVID-19, but other uh, epidemic prone diseases, natural disasters, conflict, and so on. So first of all, I'd really like to commend all the country representatives for your hard work and your resolve in these most difficult of times. Secondly, I would like to reflect that the cholera roadmap is fundamentally a preventative strategy. Um, and this preventative strategy is critical across all of the pillars that we've heard about today. But for me, I'd like to underscore the importance of the vaccine pillar. Although I was encouraged by Philippe's presentation yesterday that indicated OCV use is increasing again since the uh, fall in demand during um, last year, the vaccine supply is fragile. And I think it's important to recognize that unless we have preventative campaigns that are uh, necessary, that are thought through, that are lined up by the countries, um, we are not going to achieve stable demand uh, for the corresponding supply of OCV. So I would like to encourage countries to look to the future and set up preventative campaigns where it makes sense. We also know after many years of using OCV that this can serve as a window to open opportunities for increased political and technical engagement on cholera prevention, uh, including case management and WASH strategies. And again, I think that these uh, can work together to give us opportunities uh, in future. And so as we look then to tomorrow, which uh, we're hoping would be a time for discussion and consensus building, and charting the next steps for the GTSSC, I did think to offer a few comments that are based on the work that we've heard of today. I think we all know that the GTSCC has long championed a country-driven, country-focused approach to color control. Um, and probably the most critical role that the GTSCC plays is in country support. I think we are closer today than we ever have been to having a mechanism in place to scale up that GTFCC support. Um, and so this is possibly a really pivotal moment in time for cholera control. I think we recognize that to achieve these cholera uh, roadmap objectives, we need a flexible, well-resourced support mechanism for countries. I think the progress that was shared yesterday by the IFRCC on the inception and the development of the country support platform is really highly encouraging. However, we know that we need more and I would urge each partner of the GTFCC to consider what additional human or financial resources they can provide to the country support platform based at IFRC. Um, your expertise, your country offices, your, exp uh, your perseverance is all really necessary as we now move into this next phase for country focused commitment to cholera control. Finally, I do think we can do more together. Um, and we know that we're in silos. We know that we have different working groups looking at monitoring and evaluation, surveillance, um, or immunization, or WASH, or primary health care. But I think we all recognize that we need each other. And I, I do believe that our efforts will be more effective and more efficient if we can work together in country where we all have the same aim. I think it's an important conversation that was started today, that we start to look at cholera-affected cholera communities and work with intention in setting up some community engagement work. With those 
brief comments. I think looking to tomorrow, it is going to be an important discussion. Um, however, it is more challenging in this virtual format. So I would encourage that we come tomorrow thoughtfully and try and engage thoughtfully. I think it's really important for us to ensure that the country representatives and their needs and experiences are at the focus and the center of the conversations we have tomorrow. I would encourage the country representatives to please tell us how we can better serve you. Frankly, we are here to serve your uh, roles as your partners to help you control cholera in your uh, specific environments. And so it's really important that we get your candid feedback. Um, and finally, I hope that we can approach each conversation with a sense of opportunity and possibility, particularly as I do think that the creation of the country support platform and the developments that we're seeing really provide us a pivotal opportunity. So as always, I look forward to hearing from you. I look forward to engaging tomorrow. And I really hope that we can meet next year in person so that we have the opportunity to meet and talk over coffee. Thank you very much.